back, I'm going to show you how to convert a song into an MP3. And you're going to be able to have to use iTunes for this. Um, my version, because of my version is the newest one, calls that music. Yours probably calls it iTunes. And all you have to do is open iTunes and drag your piece of music in there. Um, and here's how you're going to convert it. So when you have your piece of music in iTunes, like here's a song, okay? Um, when you have it in iTunes, this is what you're gonna have to do. And you'll wanna pay attention so you can set this back. But under your, under when you click music or iTunes, the iTunes file, pull down to where it says preferences. Then you're gonna stay with general. Um, no, actually you're gonna move over to files and slide down to where it says import settings right here. So you go to files, import settings. When you do that, you notice that it's, it asks you where, what you want to import. We're gonna change this to MP3 encoder, meaning we're gonna change the file format of what it currently is into an MP3. So when I do that, I click okay. Um, and then I'm going to pick a piece of music. There it is. I'm going to select it, see how it's highlighted. And I'm going to go up here to File. And I'm going to click Convert. And now if you notice, everything's been grayed out except for MP3. When I do that, it makes a second copy. Did you see how that happened? And when I pull that copy down here onto my desktop, that copy is now a .mp3. And of course, I don't need to keep it in my music unless I want to, so I can I can actually right click it and delete it, just like that, okay? But I just converted this, which was like an MP4, into an MP3. And your music, the songs that you built in GarageBand have to be MP3s before they'll upload into the players on um, your Wix um, audio site. And so when I'm finished, I'm gonna go back up here to Music, Preferences, Slide to Files, Import Settings, and I'm gonna change it back to AAC because that's a higher resolution. I only need MP3 to convert it, just as I did here, to downgrade that file and use it on a website. That's it.